प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मास कॉन्क्रीट माय सेल्फ चेतन जी कुनापुरे असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग वर्ल्चन इंस्टीट्यूट टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर दीज आर द लर्निंग आउटकम्स स्टूडेंट विल बी एबल टू डिस्क्राइब द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मास कॉन्क्रीट आफ्टर दिस सेशन लेट्स सी द इंट्रोडक्शन मास कॉन्क्रीट इज द कॉन्क्रीट हैविंग कंसिडरेबल डायमेंशन that may get affected by thermal behavior of concrete this is the first uh, logical understanding of this concrete so mass concrete means concreting of the dams mass concreting of massive columns thick thick foundations large bridges piers uh, retaining walls uh, so this uh, all type of structures uh, concreting is called as mass concreting now in in the design of the dam the strength of the concrete is uh, not having that much importance Uh, the the most important thing in that is the concreting extent of the concreting and because of that whatever heat is uh, generated because of heat of hydration how to control that that is the major issue now now if a certain amount of heat is generated how to absorb such heat so that heat inside the body of concrete is minimized this is uh, one more aspect or uh, important aspect in mass concrete now mass concrete is basically concrete with higher proportion of ca and lesser cement content this is the practical aspect of uh, uh, mass concrete so generally large size aggregates are preferred for mass concrete so the surface area of aggregate uh, that uh, can be reduced by larger size of uh, aggregates and uh, because of that the cement content auto auto automatically reduces it so let us see what are the materials for mass concrete following materials can be preferred now portland cement with low heat of hydration so whenever uh, this type of cement with low heat of hydration is used mass concrete means definitely the extent of the concrete is big cement content is also use of the cement is also more and use of the cement means evolution of the heat of hydration is more so minimum amount of uh, heat should be there for that purpose this type of cement can be used and one more aspect is economy can also be achieved next is uh, Uh, pozzolana or pozzolanas can like uh, shall be added into the concrete so basically fly ash it will help to reduce the heat of hydration because cementitious uh, uh, cement particles cement material will reduce definitely it will directly reduce the heat of hydration so fly ash the pozzolana which is a very uh, fine uh, uh, material so which improves the workability also and it delay the strength gain also so uh, heat of hydration and strength gaining these are related to each other next is the aggregates in case of large beams and columns 20 to 30 mm size is suitable and for dams barrages weirs 40 mm aggregates can be used now one ratio is uh, suggested here fine aggregate to total aggregate ratio means in total aggregate the fine aggregate content it must be near about 25% now regarding this mixing water uh, quantity of mixing water must be very low so that it you can give only 0 to 50 slump even zero slump is also admissible now admixture admixture water reducing type of admixture retarding admixture is preferred means what the setting time is delayed and according to that the heat of hydration will not be very fast in early age now coolants how this can be used why this is because of the temperature control is required and that can it must be maintained 5 to 20 degree celsius that's why this coolants are required addition of finely chipped ice instead of water can be used or it is useful so that the temperature of concrete we can uh, keep constant aggregate should be kept damp this is one method so which will uh, reduce the temperature also next is cast concrete should be cured with cold water so for curing sprayed water with the spray with cold water that is be more uh, useful for keeping the temperature low now let us uh, see what are the properties of mass concrete the mass properties of mass concrete are the same that of a normal concrete but some of uh, these are discussed below uh, which are important for mass concrete the first is workability now optimum workability term is used uh, optimum workability means uh, whatever workability minimum required for concreting that much we can keep here uh, 
uh, uniformity of the workability means low cement content that will uh, can be assured for by uniformity of the workability non uniformity in the workability it is difficult in mixing and placing and compaction in mass concreting water cement ratio is always uh, uh, high cement content is low but the uniformity of workability and uniformity of cement content that is that will give us or this will facilitate us mixing placing and compaction S regarding this slump slump must be always low but it depends on the dimensions of the members what type of member we are casting whether it is a, a beams columns or any other members spacing of reinforcement method of placing and consolidation these things are important and this will decide the slump value now next property of the concrete is the durability and this durability depends upon the mixed design workmanship placing and curing so mixed design that is the origin that is the uh, proportioning workmanship that is the how the labors are um, carrying out the concreting and what is the practice then the placing and curing that is also important this mix uh, durability basically depends upon the property of the materials or ingredients which are used for the mass concrete selection of the material is also important means most important is the chemical resistance of the concrete the concrete must be uh, having some chemical resistance because mass concrete is used in these types of structures like dams barrages so weathering durability is important entrainment of minute air bubbles into the concrete that will assure your weathering durability so small whites are generated because of this air entrainment of air bubbles now air entrained concrete or air entrained mass concrete we can say this will give you resistance to freeze and thaw thaw and wetting and drying actions okay now in severe condition severe aggressive condition for the concrete means the sulfate attack if it is possible then sulfate resisting cement must be used in mass concrete any concrete exposed to sulfate should be air entrained okay air entrained means voids are uh, generated and water attack sulfate attack is there that uh, sulfate for that a sulfate attack air entrainment is important next is uh, when the mass concrete is used for dam site type of structure water tightness is the important property and it should concrete should be impermeable and to achieve this first is good quality aggregate shall be used low water cement ratio shall be used good consolidation during the placing proper curing and use of pozzolana these things will uh, uh, give you water tight concrete most important thing is in that is the use of pozzolana one thing is that the cement content is low water cement ratio is low in that case concreting with the optimum workability is a difficult job and uh, that too with the water tight uh, property so in that case use of pozzolana that will help us uh, to give water tight concrete as well as uh, the concrete with optimum workability now next property is actually strength and for this strength uh, one figure is shown here which will explain your relation between 28 days compressive strength and water cement ratio now if you for the strength I mean case of mass concrete uh, strength uh, issue uh, that that parameter is actually very low but uh, with low water cement ratio with low cement content uh, achieving the strength is also uh, important uh, task so it is very economical to add pozzolana in the concrete if the pozzolanic material like fly ash if this that is uh, added into the concrete it is very fine so it will uh, improve the workability as well as it will increase the strength also now the pozzolanic material is having little cementing value but it react with calcium hydroxide to form cementitious compounds okay so while uh, working while uh, when the water is added in the fresh state the pozzolanic material will help you to improve the workability because it is having very little cementing uh, strength or cementing value and whenever it reacts with the cal calcium hydroxide it forms the cementitious compound after uh, your fr fresh state now see this above reaction contributes to ultimate strength and water tightness of the concrete so ultimate strength after the entire hydration process of the concrete and water tightness that, that is assured by pozzolanic matter and 
but really that will give you good strength also and it increases the plasticity and workability of the concrete now for that purpose let's see uh, this graph on x axis water cement ratios are given on y axis uh, 28 day compression strength is given in mpa now you can see here this is particularly for uh, mass concrete for 0.6 water cement ratio you can see here the strength is in between 15 to 20 lower strength range is specified uh, i think this is uh, 17 to 80, 18 mpa and here above it is near about 24 mpa so the 0.6 water cement ratio for mass concrete that will give you the range of 18 to 24 Newton per mm square approximately that strength. So for different water cement ratio uh, the strength is given here the range we can use for our uh, mixed designs. Now table 1 is uh, given recommended maximum water cement ratio for mass concrete and now you can see here the so types of structures and uh, location of the concrete is specified here and the, the maximum water cement ratio by weight for severe climate for mild climate these uh, water cement ratios are specified now the location of the concrete type of concrete according to this climatic condition we can select one of the water cement ratio from this and expected strength we can take from this graph now this is the question for you what is the maximum water cement ratio for the concrete continuously submerged in water for mild climate these are the options pause the video think of that uh, observe the earlier slide and give the answer the answer is 0.58 is the maximum water cement ratio these are the references thank you